to prevent and alleviate human suffering, to protect life and health, and to ensure respect for the human person. These are the core values of humanitarian international law. There needs to be a wide public support in the defense of humanitarian international law so that violations can be reduced. But in the present day, uh, religious harassment is more likely to take place in the form of, of illicit and unfair court cases. And so tax laws, zoning laws, being able to have occupancy of a building. These are the kinds of instances where religious minorities find themselves persecuted today. And so for a, a case concerning the, the religious status of a group like Taiji Men as it pertains to tax law in Taiwan, I have a lot of sympathy. By, by being able to expand the scope of, of definition for religion, um, I, I could see Taiji men having a very, very positive effect for, for Taiwanese society. L'affaire Taiji men a révélé les failles fondamentales de l'État, de droit et la façon dont le pouvoir de l'État a été détourné ou même abusé. Les représentants du gouvernement ont violé de nombreuses dispositions de procédure régulières dans l'affaire Taiji men Taiwan a gagné la sympathie de nombreux pays et organisations dans le monde pour la défense des droits démocratiques en Asie de l'Est et la gestion transparente et efficace de la crise du COVID-19. Il est grand temps que cette vieille situation soit résolue en garantissant aux membres de Taiji Men leurs droits humains et leur dignité et leur liberté de religion. Certainly, it is not a transparent one, uh, apparently, which is bad news for economy as a whole. Bad news is that the revenue service revealed itself in that occasion as an instrument of the executive power to carry out a persecution against a legitimate spiritual movement. However, the administrative inertia, so close so to say, uh, still left alive some claims by the revenue service, concerning exactly the same violation which was declared inexistent by the court. You shouldn't admit uh, a fault on your side. I strongly encourage you to, to fight against these uh, persecutions. The Taiji Men case is very relevant one because I think it shows the way in which uh, the state can misuse and even abuse its power. But the Taiji Men case shows that a group has been suffering from this kind of persecution, administrative, fiscal persecution for 24 years with a clearly denial of justice. And in fact, the rule of law, Taiji men suffered injustice. What does this, this mean? It means that taxpayer, taxpayers' rights are not well protected within the system and that the system itself systematically turns against taxpayers.